DSX, we want it to be the window to the future. What we're trying to do is change the prosthetics industry so we can offer affordable, functional and beautiful prosthetic devices to our PTs. I'm proud of being one-handed, it doesn't make me feel any different, but wearing this, instead of having people come up to me or give me like the sincere look of, oh, you've lost your arm, they go, oh wow, this is fantastic, and it may, I just like to see people have a smile on their face about it, that's what it's all about for me. Because we're heavily promoting this kind of technology, some people really think like we were producing, you know, augmented arms. And, uh, you know, some fans are, or some moms and so on were, were asking, where well, can I buy your arm? And unfortunately, we have to say, uh, we're not building any arms, we're just a video game company. But that triggers, you know, the thing where we say, we should do something. It was a really natural fit when they got in touch with us. We were almost expecting it at some point, and we formed this idea to try and turn Adam Jensen's arm into a, a real-life bionic limb. I was actually only born with my left hand, so I've never seen any different, and I've always wanted to have like a robotic hand. I've never said I wanted two hands, just a robotic one, just to feel more cyborg, because it's just so much cooler, especially being into sci-fi and comics and stuff. I developed the first bionic hand when I was 17, just tinkering in my bedroom at my parents' house when I was younger. So when I went to university a few years later, I wanted to take the project a little bit further and found that bionic hands existed for amputees to wear, but they were extremely expensive. And so I used that angle as an excuse to be allowed to create a bionic hand for my final year project at university. And then after university was when I uh, co-founded Open Bionics and we began working on the same problem with a more kind of definitive goal of being able to offer these bionic hands to people at a really affordable price. So this is a custom built one for myself. We use sensors in the top and bottom of my arm. So if I tense my bottom muscles, it will close. And if I loosen up but tense upwards slightly, it will open. We have a fantastic art director. His name is Jonathan Jack Beltet. This guy is a visionary. He's completely crazy. And the way we wanted to depict, you know, a future world was that human augmentations couldn't be like just medical device. We wanted it to be super rewarding. You know, people are wearing this kind of prosthesis in a fashionable way. For their sex, we never wanted to do some gimmicky big uh, robot's hand and so on. We wanted something to touch upon, you know, the high fashion, uh, very refined design, something that looks very slick and very, you know, you could be very proud to wear it. And then you can change all the functions like that. Kind of cool. At this point, we've made a semi-functional prototype. So we've made one that's functional and looks similar to Adam Jensen's hand. The next steps for us will be perfecting the functionality of it so that it works really nicely and it's very good at grasping objects. And then making the finish really nice so that it looks the part as well. The design files that we're working on in this project will be open sourced as well, so people will be able to download them. If they have a 3D printer, they'll be able to make themselves an Adam Jensen arm that will be functional and, and they'll be able to use it. We don't want to cut this technology, uh, this accessibility, to people who have their both hands uh, and so on. So we partnered with Intel with the RealSense division and Razer with their Stargazer division also. Multiple points on the hand, in motion, is captured in real time. The result is a one-to-one -one mirroring between the user's hand and the bionic hand. We want to show limb different people that the products and devices that they're seeing in, in science fiction, in gaming and in movies can become reality and can become reality very soon. It's mind-blowing for a lot of people, but I cannot wait for the future of this. Everything we're doing is somehow a new step forward. We're now defining the future.